Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive and in this video I would like to talk to you regarding a TPMS sensors. There's different types of sensors and uh, there's a lot of things go wrong with them. Uh, the thing of it is, I got a couple emails regarding uh, TPMS sensors. How long they last? Can the batteries be changed in the sensor? Well, there's a lot of answers for this question. Uh, number one, these sensors usually, this is a Honda Odyssey sensor. Um, this is an aftermarket shrouder sensor. There's also VDO sensors that could be made with a tool like this. Um, anyways, the sensor should last approximately five to ten years. Okay, and uh, so can you replace the battery? You can, but it's a messy work. It's probably not even worth it uh, because you got to crack the back cover open, and then inside the sensor, there's this uh, like a gooey type of a material that holds all the electronics together. Um, so the sensor's battery should, like I said, should last anywhere from five to ten years. So when it comes up to, let's say, you know, if it's an 05 uh, Honda Ridgeline, Honda Odyssey, and you're about to replace tires, it might be a good idea to replace the sensor. It's not a lot of money. It's about 40 bucks a pop uh, because you might save yourself some money. Otherwise, when it fails, and uh, you go back um, and try to put them in, it's going to cost you mounting and balancing, so you'll be paying uh, double for that. Um, but I wouldn't replace it, even though you can. You could take it off and try to open the back cover here and uh, make it. The cheaper way to go, if you have a tool like ATEC VT55, what you could do, you could buy an aftermarket sensor from like an AutoZone, and I believe, I'm just checking the website, they're around $25. Um, so if you have a tool, you can actually make the sensor. You could uh, this tool will have all the information that it needs to download into the sensor. So what you do you, before you put them into the wheels, you just select the vehicle, make and model, and uh, you download it into the sensor, and you can make yourself a cheaper version of a sensor. It'll work, but this lifetime of a battery, it should be still about the same. But I see these usually fail within four to five years. I mean, replace numerous of these sensors with a failed battery. Uh, the same thing, this one, you cannot really go ahead and open it up because this one is sealed. Uh, if you want to start, you know, using a screwdriver to pry it open, most likely going to damage electronics inside. So I wouldn't do that. Um, so that's it for this video. Like I said, this was George with Melnix Automotive. Please subscribe to our channel. We post some very cool videos daily.